Saudi nationals in customer service jobs. Act in effect. The second phase of indigenization in legal professions has also been implemented. Full indigenization of customer service jobs across Saudi Arabia has been implemented. The second phase of the indigenization of legal professions has come into effect. The deadline for indigenization of these jobs had ended yesterday. The move is a continuation of the efforts being made by the Ministry of Human Resources to provide a suitable working environment to the citizens of the country and increase their participation in the labor market. According to Vision 2020, the aim is to increase the contribution of natives in the economic sector. On June 22 this year, Human Resource and Social Development Minister NG Ahmad bin Suleiman Al Raji announced the decision to naturalize. The decision was to indigenize 100% customer service jobs. The decision applies to all organizations, including call centers, that outsource customer service to various companies. Through this, it is expected that 4,000 jobs will be created for the natives. In the second phase, 70% indigenization is being implemented in legal professions including legal consulting firms. Indigenization is introduced in various professions in this field including manager and supervisor. The decision to indigenize legal professions was announced by the HRD minister in June last year. In the first phase, 50% of the legal consulting jobs were indigenized. It was implemented in December last year. Now in the second phase, it has been increased by 20% to 70%. All companies, law firms and legal consultancy officers employing legal advisors are covered by this act. Jobs include legal advisor for public systems, legal advisor for private systems, contract specialist and legal clerk. The minimum wage for bachelor's graduates is 5,500 reals. More than 5,500 employment opportunities are targeted through this. The ministry had earlier issued guidelines detailing the details of both the indigenization decisions and the mechanism for their implementation. The ministry has warned that there will be severe legal action and fines against the institutions that fail to comply with the new law.